Recently, we got a question from one of our subscribers on YouTube asking us what's a good strategy to trade gold or otherwise known as XAU USD. While we trade gold on our accounts, we don't usually send gold signals out on our Telegram channel. And that's because the position sizing is different from Forex and we have gotten angry emails from subscribers who have blown their trading account because they didn't know this. So before I show you the high probability trading strategy that works very well for gold, I think it's essential to point out this difference between trading a Forex currency pair and gold. The PIP value is different when it comes to trading gold. You can use a position size calculator like the one you see over here if you are not too sure about the value per pip. Or alternatively, you can enter in the smallest position size of 0.01 and see how big your stop loss will be if your stop loss is triggered. Then you can make the necessary adjustments and size it according to your account size. So the first thing you need to understand about trading gold is that price tends to not respect market structure levels. My theory is that there's many automated algorithm trading programs that trade gold and thus these market structure levels don't tend to hold well. This is based on my 15 years of trading experience. But anyhow, my theory and the explanation why this is so isn't that important. What is important is that you understand that the market structure doesn't hold that well when it comes to trading gold. And if you still don't know what I mean by this, then here's a quick example of what I mean. You can see that the obvious market structure doesn't hold. If you traded it just like how you trade other currency pairs, this trade would have been a loss. Now don't get me wrong though, I'm not telling you to abandon market structure when you are trading gold. They still work, but because you click on this video, that means that you are interested in the high probability trading setups. Not just a trading setup, but the higher probability ones. So now you are probably wondering, if we are not looking to trade off the market structure level, then what are we looking for? Not to worry, I will guide you through the process step by step next. But for now, please do me a small favor and hit that thumbs up button. It helps support this channel and I will really, really appreciate it. We also do a giveaway worth $37 for our plug and trade trading package. Look for an emoji somewhere in this video and once you see it, comment on what the emoji is. You can also find the full instruction in the pinned comment down below as well. Now earlier, I explained that the obvious market structure levels don't hold well when trading gold. Thus, we need to be relying on something else to look for our key levels. This something else is Fibonacci retracement levels. If you are new to trading and don't know how to use Fibonacci to plot out the key levels, then I will leave a link to the ultimate guide to Fibonacci trading video right here at the top right. And I recommend going through that video next for you to get the most out of this video. As a quick refresher, when we want to look for key levels to buy, we pull the Fibonacci retracement tool from the swing low to the swing high like this. And of course, if we want to sell, then we pull the Fibonacci retracement tool from the swing high to the swing low just like this. For gold, we want to watch the 0.786 and 0.618 retracement levels rather than focusing on the market structure levels. In just a moment, I will walk you through a couple of examples, but let me give you an overview of the strategy first. To get the highest probability setups for gold, we want to watch for a candlestick pattern of the 0.786 or the 0.618 level. When we see a nice candlestick pattern like an agave pattern or a pin bar, then that will be our entry trigger. And right here, this is how a high probability setup looks like. If you're an experienced trader, then this setup should be relatively easy for you to spot. But for all of you who are relatively new to trading or are still struggling, I'm going to show you a couple examples more so that it is crystal clear for you. Right here, we have gold in an uptrend. 
we can see a series of higher highs and higher lows. So therefore, our trading bias will be bullish and we want to look for strong support levels to buy. To do this, we pull the Fibonacci retracement tool from low to high. Now a quick tip for you if you are new and struggle to identify swing points. You can switch to the line chart and you can quickly identify the swing points. Once you have connected the Fibonacci retracement tool, you will get your levels. We will ignore the other levels and focus strictly on the 0.618 and 0.768 level. When we see a bullish candlestick pattern of either of these levels, then we can go ahead and take the trade. Now what I'm about to say is very important so please pay close attention. Because we have two key levels that we could potentially look for an entry at, it is very important to place your stop loss below the 0.768 retracement level if you are buying. Otherwise, what might happen is that the price might initially bounce off the 0.618 level, start dropping further to test the 0.768 level and eventually bounce up. And you would have already exited with a loss because you set in your stop loss just below the 0.618 level. For this reason, it is wiser for you to place a wider stop loss below the 0.768 retracement level if you are buying. On the other hand, if you are selling, then your stop loss should go above the 0.768 retracement level. So let me run you through a bearish setup scenario. Right here, we have gold trending down. We see a series of lower lows and a series of lower highs. This tells us that the market condition is bearish and our trading bias should be bearish. Right here, price starts pulling back so we can start plotting our Fibonacci retracement tool. In this case, since it's a bearish setup, we connect it from swing high to swing low. And there we have the two key levels that we want to watch closely, the 0.618 and the 0.768 retracement level. Now price eventually retraces and we get a nice bearish candlestick pattern at the Fibonacci level. That's our entry trigger and we can proceed to take the trade. Just like before, our stop loss goes above the 0.768 retracement level with a buffer. Having a buffer is essential because it gives the trade room to breathe. If you do not include a buffer, then the price might spike you out before heading in your predicted direction. So this pointer is very important as well. So summing up this video, for this high probability gold trading strategy, based on my experience, horizontal market structures don't seem to hold well. So it is important that we pay attention to Fibonacci retracement levels instead. Specifically, we want to watch the 0.618 and 0.768 retracement levels for a potential setup. When we get a price action candlestick pattern that confirms it, we can go ahead to take the trade. Our stop loss always goes above or below the 0.768 retracement level, depending on whether we are buying or selling. So that's it for this video, I hope you got a ton of value. Do hit that subscribe button if you have not and as promised, I will leave a link to the ultimate Fibonacci trading video right here in the end screen. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.